On this part, we are going to work on the navigation bar and we are going to modify the navigation bar so it looks like this. So here we have the title and that is the e tickets. Then we have the movies. Then we have a drop down for the management and inside the management, we have the cinemas, we have the producers and the actors. Here on the right, we have the search for movie text box. And then we have the hello admin and the logout button. So let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. In Visual Studio, you need to go to the Solution Explorer, then Fuse. And then inside the shared folder, you have the layout.c-sharp HTML. And this is the file that has the navigation bar. We are not going to modify the first section and in here we have the e-tickets title and when you click this link because it's an A link, it is going to redirect the users to the home and then index. Now inside this other section we are going to write all our code. So let us start with the movies navigation item. For that I'll first create a list item. And this list item is going to have the class navbar dash nav. And then flex box, we are going to use the flex dash grow dash one. And then inside the first list item, we are going to have a link, so A. And this link is going to be the movies. Now for this link, we are going to have an icon. so i and then the class of the icon is going to be bi then bi dash fill and this is how you get the movies option but when you click on this link we want the users to be redirected to the movies list so the list that we designed on the last part for that let's first define this to be a nav link so nav dash link and then in here text dash dark and then inside here when the user clicks the link we want to redirect them to the ASP controller movies and the action inside this controller is going to be the index of so ASP dash action is equal to the index so we have the first menu item now let us create the second one and the second one is also going to be a list item, but the class is going to be for this list item, a nav dash item, and then the drop down, because in here we're going to have multiple options. Inside the drop down, let us define the a tag, and for this a tag, we are going to define the nav dash link, and then drop down, so drop down dash toggle. And then we are going to have an href. The href is going to be just a hashtag. Let us also define an ID. The ID is going to be the nav bar drop down. The other property is going to be the role of this a tag, and that is going to be a button. Then we are going to have the data dash toggle set to be a button. And then we are going to define if it has a pop-up, so has a pop-up is equal to true. And we are going to also define if it's expandable. So expandable is equal to false. And then inside the a tag, we are going to define the text. The text is going to be management. And just before the management text, we're going to have an icon. And for that, inside the i tag, we're going to define the class pi then space pi dash gear so we have the first button and when the user clicks this button we are going to just open the drop down so down here we are going to define a div this div is going to have the class drop down menu so drop down and then menu and then here we are going to have the labeled by and the labeled by needs to be the same as the ID of the button that is going to be used to call or to show this drop down. 
And now inside here, we are going to define all the options. So let us start with the first one. It's going to be an A tag. The class is going to be a drop down item. So drop down item. And this is going to be the cinemas option. The icon for the cinemas, so inside the I tag, is going to have the class bi, then bi dash camera, then reels. And when the user clicks on this button, what we want to do is that we want to redirect the users to the ASP controller cinemas. And the action is going to be the ASP action index. Now, let us copy paste this line two times. So control C, control V, then control V. The second one is going to be for the producers, so producers. And the icon that I'm going to use is going to be the BI headset. The third one is going to be the actors. And the icon that I'm going to use is going to be the bi person dash square. And on the second button, we want to redirect the users to the producers controller. And on the third button to the actors controller. So this is all you need to do on the first section of the navigation bar. Now we have the second section of the navigation bar where we have the search bar, but also the login related stuff. Now for the search bar, just after the unordered list, so the UL tag, we are going to paste a form. Then inside the form, you have an input tag and the input tag has the class form control and a placeholder search for a movie. Then you have a button, which is of type submit. And we need the type submit because in here we have a form. And the reason why we have a form is because we are going to send a request to the movies controller with the search string. And based on the search string, we are going to return the response. So in here, let us define the controller, which is going to receive the request. And that is going to be the ASP controller. That is going to be the movies controller. And inside the movies controller, we are going to create an ASP action and the action name is going to be filter. We have not created this action yet, but we're going to create in the upcoming parts. And this is all for this part. On the upcoming parts, we're going to add the login button. We're going to add the register button. We're going to also add all the other buttons that are related to user profile. So it can be an administrator or it can be just an authenticated user who is trying to buy a movie. Now, before you run the app, we can also remove the privacy from here. Then save the changes. Then in here, go to the controllers. Then go inside the home controller. And here, remove the privacy. I'm going to also remove the error. And just leave the index. Then go to the solution explorer. In here, go to the properties folder, then go to the launch settings.json file. And then inside the launch settings.json file, inside the profile section, where you currently have two options, the IS Express and the E tickets. And these two options or these two sections can be seen in the drop down up here. So if you create another section with your own properties, you'll get that option in here as well. So inside the IS Express, we are going to define a new launch URL. So the launch URL is going to be the movies controller. Now, if you want, you can also define the slash index. But as we have said, by default, MVC will navigate to the movies slash index when you do not define an action result. So now let us save the changes. And if you want, you can actually completely remove the home controller. So let us remove the home controller because we are not going to use this controller anymore. And then also remove the home folder inside the views folder. Then go to the layout.c sharp HTML. 
Then in here, update the first link. So when the user clicks the e tickets link, which is the application title, we do not want the users to be redirected to the home controller, but instead we are going to redirect them to the movies and then index action result. So let us save all the changes and then run the app to see the result. And then in here you have the navigation bar. So you have the e tickets title, you have the movies. So when you click the movies, you are just redirected to the movies. Then you have the management and in the management you have a drop down. In here you have the cinemas. So here you can see a list of cinemas. Then you have the producers. So these are the producers. And you also have the actors. Now for the search for a movie, we have not added any functionality yet, but we are going to add in the upcoming parts. And in here now, if you click on the e-tickets, you'll be redirected to the movies page.